The Heart of Texas has no intention to speak ill of or slander another person's business or any festival or public or private event, place, activity, or adventure. The purpose of all videos is to help those in wheelchairs find fun and accessible events, places, and adventures that they can enjoy with their families and friends. And by no means does the Heart of Texas want to hurt the reputation of a person, company, or establishment. Videos are for educational purposes only, seeing through the eyes of someone needing accessibility for themselves, for a loved one, or someone who may need it in the future. Thank you. Gatorland is a one-of-a-kind place to see alligators and crocodiles up close. Gatorland even has the largest collection of the rare white leucistic gators. But Gatorland is more than just a gator park. It also has a free flight aviary, petting zoo, one of a kind animal shows, thrilling screaming gator zipline, and new stomping gator off-road adventure. Ensuring your day will be fun, smiles, and full of memories that you will never forget. Thing, right? What you doing? Are you keep walking? <laughs> Is it really that funny? I'm glad I'm, I'm, glad I'm that funny. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We're just gonna go for it. What's the worst that can happen? What? You could lose your arm. You landed on it! Yes, it does! <laughs> oh. So how wheelchair accessible is Gatorland? Gatorland is about 50% wheelchair accessible, and let me tell you why. If you need a place to park and get your wheelchair out, please make sure that you come to Gatorland super early because there's not that much wheelchair accessible parking. Another thing that I realized that there is not a designated area for people in wheelchairs to watch the shows. Many photo opportunities, the eating area, and the water park are not wheelchair friendly either. Many of these photo opportunities are on decks, which makes it a little harder for someone in a wheelchair to get up on because these decks do not have ramps.
I love teamwork. What do you want to do? All right, you take it out, and I'll talk about it. Uh, <laughs> no, Logan, Logan, I think you can take it out while I talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I just said that, Michael. I'll talk about it while you take it out. All right, so Sorry. what's going to happen is Michael's going to... Wait, 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 wait. Look, Logan, I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb, because that's not even my box. Well, it's not my box. Whose box is it? It's Nadine's box! Come on down, Nadine. Let's give her a big round of applause. Volunteer! Volunteer, Nadine. It's the same thing. You're going to be fine, okay? Since you're actually so brave to come up, Nadine, what's going to happen right now is if you're going to go over there standing with Michael, and he's going to make you feel extra safe, and I'm going to open up this box and show him what's inside. What am I doing? You're going you're to be, be safe. You're going to make her feel safe. Okay. Nadine, be honest with me. Do you feel safe? Uh, well, that makes one of us. That's good. But I have an idea to make us both feel safe. Uh, just stand in that for me. Wait, Michael, what is that? Well, that's the circle of safety. It worked for SpongeBob, but it, it worked, worked for Nadine. Spongebob. Now, Nadine, look forward to that adoring audience. Wave high, they love you. And then uh, put up both your arms like this. Actually, Nadine, which one do you write with? Well, what, which, which hand do you write with? Your right hand. Okay, let's, uh, let, let, we can put the right hand down. Keep that left one out, though, because you want the right later. And uh, most importantly, I can see through your shades, so I need you to close your eyes. Keep those eyes closed. Don't worry. Don't sweat. You might oh hear some noise behind me. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just Logan with some. Don't peek. 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 In just a few seconds, you're going to feel something really creepy and scary in your hand. Don't worry, girl. It's just my hand. <laughs> All right, Nadine, on the count of three, you're going to open your eyes and meet your new little friend. Ready? One, two, three. Open his eyes. Oh, I love Spider. Okay, good. Well, you're going to love this one, okay? Oh, no. Nadine, you were so good. Guys, let's give Nadine a big round of applause! Yeah, he's super cute. All right. Perfect. Let's see what we got. All right, Jennifer, come on down. Oh, Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer. What? Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, Jennifer, right Jennifer, can you do me a big solid and stay right there and not move? Thank you. She can't hold the slogan. Why can't she hold it? It's part of the show. If she holds it, we get fired again. I need a different again? kind of help. Yeah, again. I need a new A help. different kind of help. Yeah, they need round two. You ready? No, no, no. Maybe I'm so sorry. No, I do not need human help for this. I need help from one of these. Oh, okay, okay. And I hear it out there. You're right, guys. This is for a snake. I mean, what else am I going to catch with a bit of a hook? Here, kitty, kitty. Whee! Wait, Michael, I thought you loved cats. Man. Oh, I love cats. They call me Carol Baskins. Oh, oh no. The safety there worked extremely well for Nadine, so I'm going to draw another thing in the stand here. Uh, let's call this one... Ooh, we'll call it the line of death. What? As that name implies, if you cross this line for any reason, you can most certainly die. But if you have a trip, fall, pushed by a loved one, just go straight to the circle of safety. You're going to be A-OK. -okay. Um, what? Michael, I yeah. just realized something. Yeah, what's up? You were drawing that line of death. We're on the wrong side of it. Yeah, no, we're the professionals. I'm because they're my professionals. Can I check and see what it is? I'm going to this thing. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> what? This is my corner of safety. Your corner of safety? Yeah, your, your line of death works so well. Let's check it out, dude. I'm, this thing's going to protect me from that. I got death spikes. I'm going to draw a force field. I got some bodyguards right here. Bodyguards. Oh, that's crazy. You know what that looks like, Logan? What does it look like? The reason you're still single. Aw, oh, Michael, that's not very nice. Well, I'll draw myself a girlfriend over here in the sand while we wait, okay? <laughs> okay, you, you just play in the sand there. I'll, uh, I'll do my job. How's that sound? Hey, do you know what her name is? What's her name? Sandy. Sandy. Don't laugh. Don't, don't give him that. Don't laugh. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually already kind of climbing out. Anybody know what this is? You're right, guys. It's a snake, not a turtle. They may know what kind of snake. Cottonmouth, spot on, folks. This is a cottonmouth, also known as a water moccasin. One of the most common venomous snakes we got right here in the state of Florida. Oh, the name like water moccasin. Where do you think you're gonna find this guy? The water in the world, and the largest venomous snake we have here in the United States of America. Now, he obviously gets his name from that beautiful diamond-like pattern that goes along his back. He gets about five to eight feet in length. 
but they can potentially get bigger than that. And he also has a big rattle at the end of his tail that he likes to shake like he's doing right now. Does anyone know what that rattle's used for? It means back off. Morning, guys. That's what we used to think. But due to recent studies that we've actually discovered here at Gatorland, we've actually discovered that that's where he stores his venom. All he has to do is shake... And this beautiful walk through the grasslands is wheelchair accessible. However, someone in a wheelchair does need to be careful because some parts of this bridge are very wet. And yes, my mom's glasses did fall from off the top of her head and landed in this gator pit with this giant gator. And the staff was very helpful with trying to get my mom's glasses out. And it was kind of a struggle because the gator moved and ended up being on top of the glasses. However, they were retrieved. So yes, if you are in a wheelchair, you can enjoy Gatorland. However, there are a few things that you may want to be aware of. Y'all, thank you so much for coming on this adventure. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye!